For the longest time ever, iOS and Apple lovers around the world have been asking for an integrated dark mode that would juxtapose the already existing regular light mode and shroud it in total darkness and make the apps become darker with dark backgrounds while retaining accurate picture color and quality. Before iOS 13, there was kind of a way to do this, but not really. There was a classic invert setting that did darken backgrounds, but at the detriment of everything else basically inverting colors. Like imagine going on Instagram and having a black background, but now all pictures have inverted colors so regular skin tones would now be greenish looking. Essentially, it would just invert or flip to the opposite color on the spectrum or color wheel. So light greens would turn purple, black hair would turn white, etc. This was a step in the right direction but didn't make for a very pleasurable viewing experience. Then, a smart invert setting was rolled out which worked somewhat better in certain applications but still didn't make everything work the way a native dark mode setting should. Thus, finally, advancements in science and technology finally allowed Apple in 2019 to roll out a state-of-the-art system-wide dark mode that finally worked. And it was about damn time. What people fail to realize is that dark mode has an enormous impact on battery life on OLED phones. Basically, any iPhone with the iPhone X style design with the notable exception of the 10R and the iPhone 11. In today's video, we will be testing out this conjecture to see if it is true and so you can decide for yourself on whether you should switch to dark mode or perhaps use darker wallpapers to save on battery life. Let's get right to it. We'll get started right away. For this test, it really isn't about which device wins, rather to see how much of an impact dark mode has over light mode. For this test, I used my iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max, both phones having exceptional battery life. To switch to dark mode, simply go into your settings, go down to display and brightness, and under appearance, switch to dark mode. As with all my battery drain tests, every setting has been meticulously checked to ensure everything is fair and consistent. Brightness was set to 70% for both tests. Wi-Fi on the same network. Do not disturb on and auto lock set to never just to name a few settings. We'll start with the light mode test followed by the dark mode test and then compare the performances of both. For my first test, I emulated being on Twitter and scrolling down my feed by occasionally going to the screen and sliding down the timeline. I did this for 90 minutes as I feel a lot of us spend a good chunk of time on social media anyway. Fun fact. Twitter was one of the first social media apps to implement its own dark mode even before the release of iOS 13. But anyway, after 90 minutes, the iPhone 11 Pro sat at 88%, while the Pro Max slightly bested battery performance at 89%. After that, I thought it was a good idea to let the phone sit on standby for two reasons. One, a lot of us, myself included, leave the displays on and never really lock the display and eventually rely on the auto lock timer to do it for us. And two, I was hungry as hell during this part of the test and it was a perfect chance to leave them idle while I went to grab a bite to eat. So what I did is leave both phones on standby for two hours and when I arrived, I collected the results. The iPhone 11 Pro sat at 72%, dropping 16% for just sitting there with the display on for two hours, while the 11 Pro Max fared much better, dropping only 12%, bringing it down to 77%. You'll see in the dark mode comparison just how much better it is to be on dark mode if your main goal is to save battery. After that, since it was Sunday, I performed the third test, which is what I normally do on Sundays anyway, a YouTube watching spree. For three hours, I set both phones on my playlist on my channel, which by the way, now is a perfect chance to shamelessly plug some of my playlists at the top right corner. So if you want to see some of those, check them out in the cards to the top right. But anyway, going full screen on YouTube essentially cancels out the effects of dark mode versus light, since what you see is the whole video. But nonetheless, if not in full screen mode, you'll either experience light mode or dark mode. So without going full screen, I let both phones run on my videos for three hours and afterwards, recorded the results. The mighty iPhone 11 Pro took a massive L, dropping all the way down to 36%, while the Pro Max also took an L, just not as fat, and dropped to 45%, just a little under half capacity. 
Still crazy that after almost 7 hours of continuously having the displays on, the 11 Pro Max sits right under about 50%. In today's age, we would be absolutely nothing without our GPSs, right? To my older audience that relied on physical maps and printing out directions from Google like I used to do for my dad back in the day, I salute you. You may not realize, but we use Apple Maps or Google Maps a lot more than you'd think. Most of these GPS apps do also have light and dark mode compatibility, so I cranked up Google Maps and pretended like I was heading to Seattle to crack a cold one with my uncles, and did that for two hours. After two hours, the iPhone 11 Pro drops to the red, down to 20%, while the Pro Max is now at 27%. Following that in the late hours of the night, I went over to my notes and basically tried to pretend like I would jot down occasional reminder notes, or maybe for those that use their iPhones regularly for notes in class and such. I would do this, take a short nap, and wake back up to type a little bit more. Trust me, it was mad annoying, but it was all in the name of science and I did it for you guys, my loyal subscribers. So if you haven't yet, Give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this, including unboxings, reviews, comparisons, and giveaways. Okay, so from start to finish, the iPhone 11 Pro finally died after 11 hours and 2 minutes. And not long after that, the iPhone 11 Pro Max with its enormous battery finally died at 12 hours and 36 minutes into this test. Not bad at all if you ask me, but as you'll see, now we'll transition over to the dark mode test and see just how better dark mode is for your battery life. So again, we replicated the exact same test. Same settings, same Wi-Fi network, brightness, you get the gist of it. The only thing that changed is now we changed the setting from light to dark. Trust me, these results are actually kind of scary at just how much more battery you'll save with dark mode. So we begin again with our initial Twitter test, scrolling down the feed every so often for 90 minutes while I beat some chumps on Clash Royale off camera. And after that hour and a half, I collected about 13 wins and lost only once. Oh yeah, and also, the 11 Pro fell to 94% and the Pro Max only fell to 97%. Sheesh! This is a pretty stark contrast to the 88 and 89% they dropped respectively on light mode. Following that, we did the 2 hour standby test and this is where you can really start to notice the enormous difference dark mode makes as after 2 hours with the dark version of one of the default wallpapers, it brought the iPhone 11 Pro down to 81% while the iPhone 11 Pro Max sat at a nice and comfy 87%. After this test, it was time to take a nice long snooze while I let both devices sit on YouTube for the same time as I did for the light mode test, 3 hours and again ran some of my playlists. You'd be surprised at just how much better these phones lasted with dark mode enabled on YouTube. After 3 hours, the 11 Pro sits at just under half with 49%, while the 11 Pro Max at a nice and powerful 61%. For reference, the phones were at 36 and 45% respectively at this point in the light mode test. We once again move on and plan our trip to Seattle, only this time driving at night with dark mode. And after those 2 hours, we arrive at the following percentages. The iPhone 11 Pro at 30%, while the chunky 11 Pro Max is at a nice and healthy 49%. Again, for comparison, the two phones were at 20 and 27% respectively. Now at this point, it's quite obvious that our hypothesis was true. Dark mode has an incredible impact, but we move right along and again sit on the notes application and occasionally scribble some nonsense to kind of replicate taking notes. Like I wish I could sit in front of my two iPhones for 3 hours straight taking notes, but give me a break. I have a full time job and had to use the bathroom and shower in that order. Because if you do it the other way around, you just played yourself and no one wants that. Anyway, well after 12 hours, which is about the time the 11 Pro Max died, after about 3 hours later, the iPhone 11 Pro was still hanging in there with 8% while the mighty iPhone 11 Pro Max was at a staggering 28%. I don't know what it is with this behemoth battery, but man I'm not complaining. Sometimes I go to bed with my 11 Pro Max at 65% and don't even bother charging it. So then, I could have stopped here, but god damn, it was already like 3am, so might as well keep it running for you guys, and that's what I did. I left it on iMessage and told myself I'd send myself silly iMessages for my MacBook Pro, but nope, bro, I was sleepy, I had to work the next day and be up at around 6.30, but take my word for it, when I woke up, which was about 6.30am, the 11 Pro was dead, but the 11 Pro Max, my goodness, was still on with 4% battery left. What the f so what have we learned today? 
I learned something new. It's that the iPhone 11 Pro Max can last way longer than I can. Like, is this even real life? In all seriousness, I'm happy Apple's moving back in the right direction and ditching their dumb fascination with super slim devices and instead giving us exceptional battery life just by increasing the thickness just a tiny bit. But even though I already knew this with the introduction of OLED phones, many people don't and I hope this video serves to help people in making their battery life last much longer. So if you have a bright pink with bright white wallpaper and wonder why your battery goes down quick Quickly, a big reason for that is likely due to the OLED panel consuming a butt ton of energy to power that on and maybe you should consider switching to dark mode with a nice dark wallpaper. If you found this video entertaining or useful in any way, you already know what to do. Drop that like and hit that subscribe button with bells and I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out.